हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ईडीएम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्टेंस मेजरमेंट डिवाइस मूविंग टू आर मेन टॉपिक व्हिच इज ईडीएम ईडीएम इज अ इंस्ट्रूमेंट बेसिकली यूज टू कैलकुलेट डिस्टेंस अ लीनियर मेजरमेंट वी कैन कैलकुलेट हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्टेंस एज वेल एज वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस और एन इंक्लाइन डिस्टेंस बाय यूजिंग ईडीएम The full form of EDM is Electronic Distance Measurement Device. So we'll see what are the classification of it. It is widely classified on the basis of range of operation. There are three types: short range, medium range, and long range. So depend upon your use, we can use short range, medium range, or long range EDMs. So for short range, the range is limited to less than 3 km only if you have to calculate distance less than 3 km we can use short range and where is accuracy is plus or minus 0.2 mm per km and for medium range we have the range from less than 25 km 3 to 25 km and its accuracy is 5 mm per km for long range we have range varying from 25 km to 100 km and where its accuracy is from 10 mm per km next main classification of edm is based upon your carrier wave use the edm is basically a instrument which use electronic waves to measure the distance so depend upon the waves we have classified it as microwave visible light and infrared so now microwave these are long range instruments and generally has a frequency range between 3 to 30 gigahertz for visible light we have medium range instrument it can be used in medium range instrument having frequency 5 into 10 raised to 14 hertz and in infrared it is used for short range instruments having the frequency 3 into 10 to the power 14 hertz moving on to next part the edm instrument is classified as geodimeter and telerometer now in geodimeter geodimeter basically is heavier instrument as compared to your telerometer the observations are limited to night only means the geodimeter we can use in night only whereas the telerometer we can use in any time day as well as night the geodimeter instrument is set up at one end and reflector at another end so it use a instrument and a reflector whereas in telerometer two identical instruments are set up at either ends light radio waves are used in geodimeter whereas in telerometer we are using high frequency radio waves so this is a basic difference between two so generally we prefer telerometer because of its advantages over geodimeter now we'll see what are the basic function how the working of edm is take place so first of all is the generation we have to generate a data then we have to modulate that particular data then the waves are transmitted these transmitted waves are propagated to the particular object there it will strike the reflector and reflect back and it is received by a receiver then demodulation is done and lastly we'll get measurement is the distance so this is the function or the cycle of your edm the principle of edm is basically based upon the light wave theory we'll see in further slides now the operations of edm how it is set up the first step is setting up the instrument is set up 
at a given point by the means of tri batch or we can say tripod then reflector are set over the remote station on tri batch wherever we have to calculate the distance we have to set your reflector next procedure is aiming now we have to bisect that particular prism set at your reflector by using a sighting device theodolite or a telescope then measurement the measurements are operate pressing the measurement button on the record the slope of the ground or to record the horizontal distance and it will be directly displayed on your lcd panel the last step is recording this information on lcd panel can be recorded manually or automatically depend upon your edm to measure a distance is work upon a basic principle of your electronic waves so the waves are generated at point a and these are transmitted from your transmitter it will travel through the air or the medium present over there and will bisect the reflector setting at point b and it will reflect back the rays reflected back are received by your receiver setting at your station a and it will calculate the distance to calculate the distance a simple formula used is distance is equal to velocity into time because we know the velocity of your transmitted waves time we can calculate and is divided by 2 because it is reflecting back so we have to calculate a single distance between a b so we have to divide it by 2 if the time is too short then there will be a difficulty in measuring so generally we use long range objects and phase difference method is also used sometimes to calculate the distance for too short period of time now what are the errors while calculating a distance there will be a error now what are the error same we have seen in chaining personal errors instrumental error and your natural errors now what are the personal errors in edm first is inaccuracy in initial setup if your instrument is not properly leveled or center there will be a error next instrument and reflector measurements going wrong so while recording or while calculating the instrument and reflectors set at the point is not properly set last is atmospheric pressures and temperature determination errors so while calculating we have to see what is the atmospheric pressure and what is the temperature so we have to calculate it so it is not calculated accurately there will be a error while correcting it next are instrumental errors the instrument is not calibrated properly as we know before using any instrument we calibrate it to the accuracy if the edm is not calibrated accurately there will be a error then chances of getting unstable frequent errors these errors may occur because of some kind of disturbance and errors shown by reflector reflector is not reflecting back the rays properly and there will be a error these are the instrumental errors and last are your natural error in natural it comes the variation in atmosphere like temperature pressure humidity change because of which the frequency of your and velocity of your waves may vary so there will be a time or obstacle in the traveling of your waves or multi reflection of signals the signals are getting reflected to different objects or in different direction because of which we are receiving lesser amount of signals or lower frequency signals because of which there will be a error in accurate measurement so there are three types of error personal instrumental and natural error thank you